just under a year since the start of an investigation into a plot to harvest a 21-year-old man's kidney. Nigerian Senator Ike Ikwerimadu, along with his wife and a doctor, have begun a life behind bars, one very different from what they once knew. Modern slavery is present throughout our communities in many different formats, be it labour exploitation, the exploitation of women in sex work, domestic servitude and the criminal exploitation of people. The couple, along with the help of a medical doctor, were found to have conspired to bring a Lagos street trader to a London hospital as a potential kidney donor for their ill 25-year-old daughter Sonia in exchange for $8,000 and a promise of a better life. While it's lawful to donate a kidney, it becomes criminal if there's a reward of money or other material advantage. In this case, the, uh, the people that were convicted exerted their political influence and power and control over a young man who was vulnerable by his economic circumstances, who was trafficked to the UK without any knowledge of what he was doing here. It is said to be the first such case to be heard under the modern day slavery law. During a televised sentence hearing, Mr Justice Johnson recognised E.K. Ikwerimadu's fall from grace. The trio, Mr and Mrs Ikwerimadu, together with a medical middleman, Dr Obina Obeta, were all handed lengthy sentences, totalling 25 years. This will no doubt set a precedent for many years to come. After taking account of the aggravating and mitigating factors in your case, I impose a sentence of nine years and eight months imprisonment, subject to allowing for the time which you have spent remanded in custody. You will serve two-thirds of the sentence in custody and will be in li on licence thereafter for the rest of the sentence. As the verdict was read out, reactions were mixed. The Aquarium Madu's son appeared distraught at the news, while others from the Nigerian diaspora described the ruling as justice for the Nigerian masses. Most Nigerians are not in support of this heinous act. We're grateful that a UK court was able to find a criminal guilty of the offence of organ trafficking. The decision by one man to seek help at a local police station has led to a historic moment in the British legal system. Lape Larinoye, TRT World, London.